Hello everyone, I'm Chip McLean, and I am an ambassador with Manduka Yoga and a yoga instructor right here in beautiful Miami Beach. And welcome to this practice of Yang Yin, this beautiful evening. So we've got a sunset practice tonight. Um, I'm an instructor here in Miami Beach at a studio called Moto, which is just about a thousand yards this direction. Uh, it's an all hot yoga studio, a clean, green, efficient, lovely community, lovely place to be. So thank you, Moto Yoga Miami Beach. Thank you, Manduka Yoga, for all of your support and continuing this practice for all of us as we move on. And so today, just very simple, maybe about 40 minutes of yang and yin. So we'll move through some flow, we'll move through some standing postures, and then we'll come down to the floor and stretch and just move your body. And it's really important to work with this symbiosis of yang and yin, right? To, to remember and to understand that for all of the instances of joy and pleasure and happiness that we have, there are equal possibilities for instances of suffering and of sadness and of pain. And at the same time, on the other end of that spectrum, for all of the instances of frustration and suffering and pain that we face, there's infinite possibilities to create joy and ecstasy and even bliss all the time in your life. And that's why we practice, to understand how to create these realities for ourselves, to understand how to move through difficult challenges and to be our best self in the long run for you and for all of us. All right, so enjoy your practice. If you've got a couple of blocks, grab some blocks. I've got one of these really cool unblocks here. It's all curvy and nice to play with. And then I've got our super old school Manduka block that's made out of wood. So got both of those. You got blocks, great. If not, no big deal. We'll start in child's pose with your knees out nice and wide. And let's get your breath moving here. Bring your toes together. Take your hands onto the blocks. If you've got blocks, if not, you can take what we call cupcake hands. So just tense your fingertips and come here. But you want active shoulders and to be able to hollow out your armpits and come into ujjayi breath. Let your third eye rest down here on the floor. And into ujjayi breath. So long resonant inhale. And the sound of the ocean there in the back of your throat. Your breath out. A couple more deep breaths. And really active arms here. So if you got your hands on blocks, imagine you can push these blocks through the floor. You can see I'm almost dragging this mat back towards me, right? Push through the ground. Really activate. Last deep breath. Come up into a tabletop shape and walk your knees in together. Again, if you got blocks, keep them under your hands and walk your hands underneath of your shoulders. Okay, knees in together. And we'll work just a funky cat cow to get your spine warmed up. Okay, so belly down, chest up, inhale, eyes up. Exhale, round your back, look back towards your navel. Push through the blocks with your hands, push through the tops of your feet and hover your knees up just about two inches or so off the floor. And knees down, inhale, belly down, chest up. Exhale, round. Push through tops of feet, hover your knees. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Hover the knees. And come back to neutral spine with your breath in. Tuck your toes, keep your hands here on the blocks. And come into downward facing dog you don't have blocks, you can challenge yourself a little more deeply by staying up on your fingertops here, right? A couple breaths. It's going to feel intense. Hands on blocks or fingertops, either one. And then lift your heels up, so really extending the shape. Hollow the belly out. Wrap your triceps down. Let your scapulae separate a bit. Navel in. Last deep breath. And then heels down, hands flat, just walk your hands back, back your mat, just a moment. Grab on to opposite elbows, and hang nice and heavy. And fingertips down, halfway up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Do that twice more, just stretch your back, inhale, lengthen. 
exhale bow once more breathe in so articulating the spine keep your heart up keep your eyes forward exhale heels stay on the floor and walk back to downward facing stretch your legs one more deep breath exhale knees down and together sit back to your child's pose with your hands on your blocks one breath And walk the hands back towards your knees. Come to sit on your heels. Hands to your heart. Just take a moment and come into intention for your practice if you choose. You can make a dedication here as well. Breath in through your heart. breath out from your heart to your hands and inhale lift your chin exhale very softly open your eyes and have an amazing practice everybody right, come back into your cat and cow shape here just one time knees together hands on your blocks inhale belly down chest up exhale round push through tops of feet hover the knees Neutral spine, breathe in. And exhale, send your left leg back. Keep the toes tucked. Slide the right knee up just outside your right wrist. We're going to deepen into that cat-cow action here. Lift your chest, inhale. And then like you're going towards the cat shape, but straighten the back leg and straighten your spine as you breathe out. Do that twice more. Knee down, inhale, chest up. Keep the back toes tucked. Micro bend your elbows, lift the heart. Exhale, straighten back leg and spine. Once more, inhale. Exhale. And then knee down, neutralize your spine, take a breath in. Tricky little transition here. Don't move your feet with your exhale. Root the inside arch of this right foot down. Walk your hands back under your shoulders and spin your left heel in. Both hands are gonna come towards the center of your mat. So the right foot's outside towards the left edge of your mat. Lift your chest, breathe in. It's a great extension to your spine and exhale, fold right down the center. So you create this crisscross pyramid shape. You're gonna feel that behind your right knee. And as you draw the right hip crease back and push down through your back heel, you'll feel it behind your left leg as well. Couple dynamic movements here. Inhale, lift your heart up, eyes forward. Exhale, fold. Twice more, breathe in. Breathe out. This time, inhale, lift your heart, look forward, and step up, left foot behind the right, chest forward, a little crisscross, Ardha Uttanasana. So long back, and then exhale, fold round your spine with the right leg crossed in front of your left. Couple breaths. Dynamic action here, inhale, chest up. Exhale, fold. Twice more, breathe in. Breathe out. Now this time, inhale, lift your heart. Bend both your knees. Come up onto the ball of your right foot. Cross your upper legs like eagle. Stretch your arms up. So one breath in to take you there. And exhale, cactus your elbows, open the heart, lift the chest up. So ball of right foot is down for support, lift your eyes up. Right, inhale, right elbow comes underneath your left. You can twist eye here, you can grab opposite elbows to modify your eagle. Sit down into Garudasana. Soften the eyes, focus to your Ujjayi, take one breath in. And exhale, humble your eagle. Keep the ball of the right foot there on the floor for some support and eyes forward just a bit. Now you take a breath in, swim your heart forward a touch. And exhale, unwind your arms, find your right hand here on the block or finger tops. Just outside the mat, scoop up your right heel with your left hand and fold over a straight left leg. So it's like shoelace pose, but you're standing up. <laughs> All right, one more breath. 
Lift your heart, inhale, Whoa. look forward. Nice slow transition. Exhale, step your right foot to center, take the blocks out in front of you just a bit. And breathe in, come into a modified warrior three. So pike your back leg up. Flex the foot. Take one breath in. Now slow motion style, exhale, bend your right knee, step your left foot back. Modified extended side angle, right forearm to your thigh, inhale, take your left arm up by your ear. And stretch, open up across the heart. One breath. Exhale, work into half side plank. So the full breath to get here. Take your left palm down. Breathe in, spin your back heel up. Exhale, spin to outside edge of this left foot. Heel toe your right foot back about halfway. So the knee stacks right on top of your heel and then stretch your right arm up, press your hips up. Strong left leg, flex your foot. Strong left arm, push through the ground, stretch up. Now one breath in. Exhale, right hand down, lift your back heel and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, forwards, plank pose. Exhale to Ashtangasana. So knees down, move your chest down, chin down, butt stays in the air. Okay. Inhale to Cobra Pose, lift your heart. Exhale, knees together, sit back to your child's pose. Extended, arms forward. Inhale, tabletop shape. Exhale, left knee slides up behind left wrist, right leg back, toes stay tucked. Hands can come to blocks, that's cool. Okay, working that cat-cow action again here. Chest up, belly in, eyes up. Exhale, straighten back leg, straighten spine. Twice more, knees down, inhale. Exhale. One more, breathe in. Breathe out. Back to neutral, knee down, inhale. Feet are gonna stay right where they are. Exhale, straighten both of your legs. So inside arch, the left heel goes down towards the right edge of your mat. Walk the hands back, spin your back heel down. Chest forward, breathe in, wrap your left hip back. Keep that root down through the inside arch of your left foot. Right heel rooted and fold. And chest forward, inhale. Bow, exhale. Two more, breathe in, blocks or not. If you can take them down, work your modifications. Exhale, fold. It's unblocks great because you can't lean into it. All right, one more, inhale, lift your chest, look forward, and step up into that little crisscross Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Bow here for just a moment. Stretch the back of your right leg. Ujjayi breath. And chest up. Inhale. Exhale, bow. Twice more. Breathe in, lift. Exhale, fold. Now to your eagle. Lift the ball, or say, sorry, keep the ball on the floor. Lift your heel. Stretch your arms up. And exhale, cactus your elbows. Open your heart, eyes up. Work with your balance. Take a breath. And inhale, left elbow under. And sit down into Garuda. Soften your eyes a bit. Focus to your breath. Elbows up just a touch. Inhale. And round forward. Exhale. Humble your eagle. Just take a breath. Swim the heart forward just a touch. Inhale. Exhale. Unwind just your arms as left finger hand or left fingertips to block or hand just outside the mat. And with your fingertips on the block, fold. And chest up, breathe in, release your foot, 
Exhale, step at the center. My hands can go forward under the shoulders. Inhale, lift your back leg up. Modified Warrior Three. Square pelvis, strong back leg, chest up, long back. Inhale. Exhale, step back. Modified extended, so we're still in your warm-up. Take your time. Not working all the way deep into that shape yet. One inhale. And exhale, right hand down. Taking the full breath to get the Ardha Vashistasana. Inhale, lift your back heel up. Exhale, spin to the outside edge, heel toe back until that foot comes right underneath your knee. Stretch your arm up, breathe. Push through the floor, hips towards the sky, core contained. Last breath. Exhale, hand down, heel up, step back, downward facing. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, Ashtangasana. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing. So lift your hips up into down dog. Take a couple of breaths. We're going to move through that as vinyasa, starting from downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up. So on the half breath, exhale, knee outside your right wrist, shin flat, back knee down, toes stay tucked. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale to your crisscross. Pyramid, don't move your feet, walk the hands in and fold. Inhale, look forward, walk the hands forward, step up, crisscross Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bow. Lift the right heel, bend your left knee, inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, cactus and open. Inhale, right elbow under, eagle. Exhale, round forward, humble eagle. Take your time. Swim it forward, breathe in. Core stays contained. Exhale, and wind just the arms, either block or fingertops. Scoop up your right heel and fold. Inhale, look forward. Release the heel. Step at the center, blocks are your friend. Inhale, lift your back leg. Modify warrior three. Left leg straight behind you, chest up. Breathe in. Bend your right knee, exhale, step back. Extended side angle pose, inhale. Exhale, take it straight. Tavashisthasana, spin to the outside edge, step the foot back, stretch your right arm up. One breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, Ashtangasana. Inhale to Cobra. Exhale. Downward facing, left leg up, breathe in. Knee outside the wrist to your proud pigeon. Back knees or back toes stay tucked, back knees down. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, straighten the leg, walk it in. Back heel down. Inhale, look up. Step up. Arda crisscross Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Bend. Right knee. Ball of left foot. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus. Open. Inhale, take it under. Exhale, humble eagle. Nice fluid movements in. Sweep the heart forward, breathe in. Exhale, unwind, fingertops are blocked. Scoop and fold. Inhale, look forward, release the heel. Exhale, step, blocks there if you want it. Inhale, lift your back leg. Bend the knee, exhale, step back. Inhale, modified, extended. Exhale, Vashistasana. Part of shape is there too if you need to modify. Deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. 
Inhale, plank. Exhale, Ashtangasana. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths. Ujjayi. And to the top of your mat, just step this first one up. So look up, bend your knees, a couple of steps, and find your half lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Stretch all the way up. Breathe in. Exhale your hands to your heart. And samaste ti. And so your namaskara, A. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Or for namaskara, C. Exhale, fold forward to Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale to Chaturanga. Dandasana, you can step, float, or fly. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Take three deep breaths. Soften your eyes a bit, soften your jaw a bit, strengthen through your arms. And your legs. Keep your fingers, your toes spread out. One more breath. And look forward. Heels up. Bend your knees. A light floater step. Halfway in. Exhale, fold. Stretch all the way. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to heart. Twice more. So your namaskara got to A. Inhale. Fold. Exhale. Halfway. Breathe in. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Urdhva Mukha. Exhale. Adho Mukha. Breathe deeply three times. Ujjayi. Last deep breath. Stay empty there through the exhale. Heels up, eyes up. Next breath in takes you to your half lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Stretch up, breathe in. Through your heart, exhale. Once more. So your namaskara, A. A come, inhale. Deve, exhale. Trini, inhale. Chatwari, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Sat, exhale. Breathe three times. Ujjayi breath. Last time, inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And sapta, inhale. Ashtao, exhale. Nava, inhale. Dasa, exhale. Take a breath. Hands onto your hips. Very simply, tree pose. Root down through your left foot, right knee out. So your right foot comes up. It can come to the calf, the inner thigh. Just try to watch out for your knee. Be safe if your foot's on your knee joint. So by safe, I mean strong left leg. Protect the joints in your body. Just stand up tall here. Whoa. <laughs> and stretch your arms out. See if you can test your balance a bit. Look over towards your right. And 
back to the middle breathe in knee forward and exhale feet together stand up tall take a half salutation inhale stretch your arms up exhale fold halfway breathe in and just fold with your exhale and inhale reach all the way up exhale hands to your heart okay take them to your hips left knee out the balance is a challenge here just tap the toes down like i did on the first side it's no big deal all right it's a little windy it's a little wobbly where you are no problem it's the mindful practice right? means at its core it's non-judgmental so practice makes practice that's it breathe and let go Stretch your arms out, inhale. Look over towards your left. Challenge your balance. Inhale, come back to the middle. Turn your knee forward. Now exhale, feet together. Arms by your side. Stand up tall and strong. Take a breath. Inhale to chair pose. Sit low. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway, breathe in. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, lift your right leg up. And look towards your hands. Exhale, step the foot beside your thumb. Okay, bend your left knee just a touch. Stack this front chin straight up and down. Inhale, your arms up into crescent lunge. So back knees bent, arms are straight. breath in. Now straighten your back leg. Exhale. Cactus your elbows. Open your heart. Inhale. Straighten your front leg. Reach your arms up. Exhale to warrior two. Spin your back heel down. Nice long stance here. Open your arms wide. Inhale, reverse trikonasana, straighten your front leg. Stretch up and back. Exhale, modified extended side angle, bend your right knee. Come through. Do that twice more. Inhale, stretch up and back. Exhale, modified extended. One more, breathe in. And exhale, hold it here, three deep breaths. If you want that Ashtanga variation now, go for it. Right palm down to the floor, outside your foot. If you find that right hand on the floor, eyes go out towards your fingertips. Ujjayi, last deep breath. Exhale, circle left palm to the floor. Right into Vashisthasana with your tree. Grab your right ankle and stack it up. Take your time, strong left leg, strong left arm, strong core, tree pose shape, right arm reaches up. And take a breath in. Right hand down, keep your tree shape. Take that shape all the way to the floor, exhale. Keep the tree, two back bends here. Inhale, lift your heart. Keep your chest up, exhale, send your right leg back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, step it. Back knees bent. Inhale, arms up. One breath in. Exhale, straighten back leg. Cactus elbows. Open heart to the sky. Take one breath in. Exhale, warrior two. And stretch out in the shape. Make some space between your feet. Front chin straight up and down, strong back leg. Inhale, straight. Reach up and back. Exhale, modified, extended. Twice more, breathe in. 
Exhale. One more. Exhale, take it through. Modified variation is there. That full Ashanga shape is there as well too if you can come down into it. Nothing wrong with the modification. Last breath in. Exhale right to your Vashisasana with the tree. Okay, smooth in the transition. Take your time. <laughs> Alignment and safety in your body. It's not a race, it's yoga. Okay. And hand down, exhale, take that tree shape all the way to the floor. Inhale, cobra, keep your heart up. Exhale, send your left leg back. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Take a couple deep breaths. And exhale, knees down and together. Sit back on your heels and we'll come back into child's pose. Knees underneath you and together, arms alongside. I'm starting now to move into the yin portion of the practice. So over the next minute, here in child's pose, let your breath start to come back to a spontaneous and natural state. So let the ujjayi go. Rest your third eye on the floor and breathe naturally. Nothing to do here but soften your body. And breath should be just about back to normal by now. Okay, if it's not, just continue to soften and then relax your breath. That will translate to your body here in yin. And if you've never done a yin practice before, that's the idea in yin, is to get still, to be relaxed over a period of time. About 10 more natural breaths. Nice and easy. I'm gonna make your way forward and into crocodile pose. So just cross your palms underneath your forehead, stack them up. And lie straight down, relax your legs, just a few breaths here. And take your fingertips, these cupcake hands again, just outside your mat. Chin straight down, tops of feet down, and a couple times up into gecko pose. Inhale, lift the chest, eyes up. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, peel up. Exhale, roll down. Once more, breathe in. Exhale. And take your left arm straight out. We're going to come up into a broken wing. So right hand comes under your shoulder. Keep this left arm straight out. I mean, you could cactus it too. It'll be a little different angle, but the left straight out is nice. Roll onto your left side. Step this right foot behind you. You could take your right hand here as a pillow underneath. You could wrap it behind. And you want to feel a stretch here in this broken wing shape and stay down in it but here across pectoralis major and to the medial tricep or bicep sorry and then down into your arm 
So opening up this part of the shoulder, a lot of work there in that Vashastasana that we did. So lie down, stretch it out, roll up. And relax here just for about a minute or 90 seconds. And not super long yin holds. You keep it pretty straightforward. And to modify here too, you could bend your knees, rest the hand, or ultimately maybe reach back and release your fingers. Again, just allow yourself to soften and relax in these shapes. That's the challenge in the end. The opposite of that yang challenge. Gently let yourself roll back to the middle. Now let's come right into the other side. So send your right arm straight out. Okay. Left hand comes under. Roll up onto right side. Step it back. And hand can come here as a pillow. You can modify with your knees bent. Take the arm behind you. About 90 seconds. So get soft and relax. Three aspects to your yin practice. Stillness, time, and the edge. So be here, be still some time and work towards the end the edge of sensation here in your body it doesn't mean pain okay just the edge of sensation and deepening the stretch About five more breaths, just natural, spontaneous breaths here. And you can stay here a little while longer if you'd like, just a few more breaths, gently come back into your crocodile shape or belly shavasana, either one here. Hands on your shoulders and we'll push up. And just a couple rounds of a very organic, very simple cat and cow. Okay, hands under your shoulders, move your body with the inhale, belly down, chest up, eyes up. And your exhale around your back. Look back towards your belly button a couple times. Last one. And come back to neutral spine, breathe in. And cross your ankles behind you. If you've got a couple blocks, fantastic. If you've got a bolster or something similar at home, that's great too. Okay, if you don't, I'll show you what to do as well. So we're going to come into a supported butterfly shape. And I like to take my blocks here and set them up as kind of yoga recliner. The smooth edge is really nice under the shoulder blades. So to recline back here in my yogi recliner, shoulder blades go on the block, head goes here, feet go together, arms go out nice and wide. So we want to focus on opening up this stretch, okay? Across the chest. Lots of work in the pecs and shoulders there in Vashisasana, so just let it stretch. If you don't have blocks or a bolster, I'll show you what to do. So you'll keep the same shape with your legs. 
to get the shoulders set up right. <clears throat> Lift the hips up. So set up like you're going to go for bridge and then come up underneath with your arms. Roll your hips down onto the arms. Take your feet together and separate them out. So your arms actually become like the bolster. Okay. A little bonus of getting down into the biceps for a stretch here. Now, if that causes any kind of discomfort, of course, you could just lay right down here onto your back. Standard butterfly, but stretch your arms out so we can get this space open across the heart. Okay, I'm going to lie up on some blocks. We'll stay here for about a minute. So just let your body open up into the shape. and let your face relax. So we're working to get deeper into your myofascial tissue, the connective tissue in your body. And if you're holding tension, that's, that's really hard to do, even in the face or the jaw or the eyes or shoulders can affect your hips, hips affect the shoulders, the spine affects everything and everything affects the spine. So relax here, let that connective tissue open up and you're in restorative shape to restore that connective tissue and to restore the shape of your body to its natural alignment. Last few deep breaths. come in together and come over to your left side okay if you got on the arms lift your hips up roll the arms out we're on to your left side we'll just come into a fetal pose if you got a block grab your block and use it as a little pillow just a couple breaths on your side And keep your knees over here to the left, keep them stacked up, and we'll just roll the shoulders back onto the floor. Stretch your arms out into a nice twist. Eyes can stay straight up, okay? You can take this twist any way you like to. So if you need some support, you could put the block in between your knees. If you want a little more, you could straighten this bottom leg, take it across, but prioritize keeping your shoulders down. Eyes up pretty gentle on the neck eyes over to your right it's going to work deeper into the stretch of your neck so your choice in yin yin's really less about alignment and more about sensation so the sensation you want to feel here is a twist in your lumbar spine out across the it band and then maybe up into the thoracic and your cervical spine if you turn your gaze over your right shoulder Spontaneous natural breath, about five more cycles. Stay on that side a little longer if you like, a few more breaths or knees back up. If you need to move your hips over a touch before you take your knees the other way. Again, you can straighten bottom leg, you can take a block between your knees. Just prioritize keeping your shoulders down so you can really get into that nice deep stretch in the twist in your spine. So once the shoulder starts to ride up, you're really just turning your core. You're not necessarily 
twisting your spine. So keep your shoulders down, stretch out. Look over your left shoulder if that feels like the stretch that your body needs for you in today. Five more natural breaths. You can stay in that twist, a few more breaths. If that's what you need. When you're ready, take your knees back to the middle. And we're gonna come into pentacle. Okay, so a little bit different than Shavasana. Pentacle is a, a yin posture. And it's like, just like what it sounds, it's like a five-pointed star, right? So arms are going to go out wide, legs out wide. So Shavasana is more here in the anatomical position. Pentacle is way, way spread out. All right, so stretch out like a starfish. And take a few deep breaths. Big breath through the exhale. One more deep breath in. Big exhale. <sighs> we'll close the practice this evening, just like we do at the studio here at Moto Yoga Miami Beach, and just like we do at Moto Yogas around the world, which is to offer this space to you for your Shavasana and for your meditation as long as you need. Take this time for yourself, for your meditation, for your own practice. And thank you for sharing this practice with me. Thank you for sharing your time, your breath, your energy with me and with each other out there. And though we're miles apart, we are still connected by heart. Thank you, Manduka Yoga. Thank you, Modi Yoga Miami Beach. And thank you. From my heart to yours. Namaste.